Right, so, okay, now we have the most probable number. So this is a sample that you take from the river. And then uh, from this sample, you take 1 ml from those samples to be put in test tubes. Okay, and this test tube contain lactose broth. Okay, lactose broth is actually a kind of a material uh, that, that provides foods for the bacteria. Okay, so that is lactose broth. And inside this test tube, there is also an inverted glass being put inside that. So imagine if you have bacteria inside it and you are giving food for them to the bacteria, lactose broth, so they eat. They eat and they will inhale, exhale and things like that. So it will uh, basically exhale, okay, gases. Okay, and that's why you see gases being trapped there. So you, that's why we can say that if you have bubble or gas being trapped inside the glass, that means it is positive that the microorganism is being detected. But for those two uh, test tube, there is no detection of gas, so it's a negative result. Okay, so that's how they decide uh, bubble positive, no bubble, negative results. Okay. Now, this time, we don't do the experiment only once, okay? But we do it, so the experiment, well, quite a number of experiments. So you, you, you dilute the sample, take uh, 1 ml of that sample, and not only 1 ml to be put into the uh, test tubes, so that means 1 ml, 1 ml, 1 ml, 1 ml, 1 ml, but you also take 1 ml, okay, to be put into another container, okay, with 9 ml of sterile water. Okay, water they, that do not contain uh, microorganisms, okay, or bacteria. So that is 1 ml of sample. And again, this sample also is divided into five test tubes. So we check whether they give positive result or not. So positive again is indicated by number of bubbles. So for the first case, you can see there are three positive, okay? And two negative results. For the second one, you can see two, uh, two, two positive and three negative results. And you can do it again, another dilution, okay? We still raw water. So the, from here to here, dilute ty, 10 times. So from here to here, another 10 times dilution. That means 100 times from the first sample. Okay? So this is 1 ml of sample and 9 ml of sterile water. And then they also being divided into 5 test tubes. So we would like to know which one give positive and which one give negative results. Okay. So I forgot to mention about uh, the temperature and how long it should, those uh, test tubes need to be put in the incubator. The temperature is actually 35 degrees Celsius for the incubation period. Incubation temperature. Okay. 35 degrees Celsius. And we need to incubate them for 48 hours. You see? It is, it takes a longer time compared to the membrane filtration method. Right, so this is the, the experiment. Okay, so we need to detect the positive and negative. So I think it will be clear if we can look at the examples. Okay? 